We want delays. Obviously, I'm running for election. I can't. How can you run for election if you're sitting in a courthouse in Manhattan all day long? Former President Donald Trump is embroiled in multiple criminal indictments as he seeks another term in the White House. The former president has had some wins and losses as trials approach. The first is the classified documents case. Judge Eileen Cannon for the Federal District Court in Florida issued an order for Trump and Special Counsel Jack Smith to propose jury instructions by April 2nd. One scenario would make convicting Trump significantly more difficult and would be a boost to the former president's arguments about classifications of documents he allegedly possessed at his Mar-a-Lago resort after his presidency. In the 2020 election subversion case, Trump's team had mixed results, trying to remove Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. An order by Judge Scott McAfee said special prosecutor Nathan Wade would either have to be removed from the prosecution or Willis's office would have to be removed from the case due to a conflict of interest. Wade resigned, which should have cleared the way for Willis to stay on the case, but the former president's lawyers requested an appeal of the decision, allowing Willis to stay on the case. In the Hush Money case in Manhattan, Judge Juan Merchant ruled the 2005 Access Hollywood tape, in which Trump made crude remarks, would not be played before jurors. Merchant said prosecutors may still question witnesses about the tape, but it's not necessary for the video to be played or entered as evidence. 